What is up guys, Gold Rules 2 here, and uh, today we have a battle. Uh, um, it's in 5th it's fifth gen, standard, and uh, I really had a lot of fun with it. It's against Golazo, who I met in the TPX Zat, which is the best place to find me if you want a battle. I had a sub come in today, asked me for a battle, said my vids were awesome, because they, I mean they are. And uh, they, it was a great battle, unfortunately it DC'd right at the end, because I was losing, and I rage quit. Kidding. I did, but I'm rage quit. Kidding. I was gonna win. Totally gonna win. Anyway, I went for the U-turn right away so I could break Dragon. It's multi-scale. Or if he switched, I could get away from uh, you know uh, whatever get switch advantage. So I do th do that, and I do do that, <laughs> and I get plus in on Skarmory. So then I want a nasty plot up because I know Skarmory can't touch me other than Brave Bird, but that's not gonna even to a KO. So now he's gonna go out to Gastrodon, and okay, so right here. I didn't quite know what to predict. I went for Hidden Power Ice because I knew if I if he stayed in, it would probably kill him, and if he switched up to Skarmory, it would still do some. But instead, he goes out to Jirachi, which is you know whatever. I I excuse me, I can handle that. And then his uh, so, I'm sorry, guys. I, I just like I just ate something, so I'm like, <laughs> uh, um, sorry. So anyway. He's going to go out to his Landorus after he U-turns out with his Jirachi, which actually lived. Um, Plusle has, like, base 5 defense. Not that bad, but base, like, literally, like, base 50, 60 defense. So, it's not good. I'm surprised I love the U-turn. Um, and so he goes up to Landorus, sets up a sub. I stayed in and called his bluff, went for the Hidden Power Ice, and then he earthquaked me to finish me off. So, Plusle does not get a kill. I'm sorry. Alright? I'm sorry. So I got to Gengar, and this is my sub-disable Gengar. And let me tell you something about sub-disable Gengar. This thing is awesome. It is so much fun. So much fun to use. It's one of my... Fa it's kind of like a new poke. Because, I mean, it was around in 4th gen, but since Disable got the accuracy boost, it's like around a lot now. It is so much... I can't even... The, just being able to just shut someone's move down is awesome. So, he's going to break my sub here after I killed off his Jirachi with a crit. Sorry about that. He probably went for Wish, but screw you! Ah! So, I'm going to disable his hidden power, and he makes the correct play. He goes for Stone Edge, but I just wanted to call him out on it and uh, make sure he didn't do that. So, I knew I would be able to live because it's non-stab. And to be honest, this Landorus trolled my team. Uh, it probably has the hidden power ice. Most do in 5th gen. Substitute hidden power ice, earthquake, and stone edge is the most common thing, I think. Or at least that I've seen. And uh, so I, the, it basically, it, it kills my team. I think I'm running, uh, again, I'm running Heatran, uh, Tentacruel, and uh, Gliscor core. That's my, that's kind of my core walls tank. So it really does give me trouble because if a hidden power ice hits Gliscor, I'm dead. And uh, I don't really have an ice fang to get off. Either I, I don't have Ice King on this thing. So, in any case, he went out to Gastrodon there, and I just had a ball, then killed it off. So that's that's basically all that happened there. I, I substituted to make sure he couldn't break my sub, but he could. So, whatever. So now he's going to go out to D Knight. I predict the Outrage, because a lot of Dragon Knights are banded these days. And uh, so I'm, and especially since he led with it, that makes me think it's banded even more. So he went right for the Outrage, as I predicted, and then I'm going to protect on the second one to get both my Poison Heal back and to protect myself from dying, and to put him into Confusion, hopefully. Uh, if he had gotten the third Outrage there, I probably would have gone Heatran and taken up, taken that hit, but to be honest, it wouldn't have been fun. So now I'm going to taunt his Skarmory, which is really nice because I want to keep Stealth Rocks off the field as long as possible, um, keep my Staraptor alive, because I know I, I noticed his team... And, uh, Staraptor can actually, it can do some damage to his team. Um, you know, not anything huge, but it, it can help. I, it's really, honest, I'm sorry about that, guys. By the way, I, I had to open up Skype because I had something really exciting to tell, like, the tubes. But, uh, um, this was, I actually recorded this a while ago, I think. I don't know. Whatever. Who cares? Who cares? Uh, no, it wasn't tubes. It was somebody else. But, anyway, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I make a really nice prediction there. I predict him to go out to Dragonite to get the EQ off or to Landris, and I go for that Will O Wisp. That completely helps. That I mean, it it's really that really helps me out. That was a crucial play where I went for the Will O Wisp on Skarmory because now Dragonite is completely crippled. Um, I I mean, it can outrage me all at once, but it really can't do anything for me. And then I'm gonna make another play here that I I mean. 
I didn't really have to take this risk, but it's something to do to pass the time while Dragonite's dying. So basically, this thing is burned, but I don't have the Ice Fang, so I really can't do anything to it. I have Earthquake, Toxic, Protect, Taunt on this Gliscor. So what I'm going to do is, I know I can take Outrages all day with Tranny. So I'm going to hope he gets a 3-turn Outrage. Going to go out, gonna on the, on the Outrage, I'm going to switch out. He does get the 3-turn Outrage. I think that was 3 turns. And I'm going to, I know I can take it really well, obviously, because I have max HP, and then I have a lot of defenses, and whatever. And I just want to get my rocks up, because I know Landorus is neutral for rocks, ground and flying. Skarmory is neutral for rocks. Infernape AP has left is neutral for rocks. Um, and so I do want to, and if, in case he wants to switch out D-Knight, that's fine, because, you know, I can, I can wall that pretty well. So, here we go. Uh, he's got D-Knight, and... He's just gonna kind of go, <laughs> honestly. Like he's just gonna keep outraging. I'm gonna keep walling him, and uh, not too worried at this point. The burn slowly is gonna whittle him down. Uh, a bit of a stally part of the game, if you will, but uh, it's all right. It's all right. So now he's going to switch out with barely any HP left. I found that kind of weird, um, but he was predicting to protect, and he knew it'd be kind of worthless, and he wanted to save it, I guess, for death fodder on a move later. So, you know, that's fine. That's totally fine. So. He goes up to Landorus, and I can't touch this thing. So what I want to do is, I know he's not going to go for the HP ice right away, because that would be a stupid play. He seemed like a good battler all throughout the battle, so I said, all right, I don't really know this guy, but I'm going to trust him to make the right play. And the right play was subbing. So he's going to sub up, I'm going to taunt him. That way, I know he can't make any more subs once I break it. So now, Gliscor's unfortunately going to go down to the HP ice, which I did know he had. And I'm going to go out to Spook, who I know will be faster. I know I'll be able to Shadow Ball, break his sub, and then I can send in Star Raptor to Brave Bird it for the KO. So this is kind of my plan, but we're kind of getting down to the wire here because he's got Infernape Landorus, which trolls me. It has super effective moves against all of my guys left. Um, who, but I, I have Star Raptor, Tentacruel, and Heatran, and he has Landorus, Skarmory, and uh, Infernape. So, not, and Dragonite, but as you can see, after I, as I U-turn, or no, do I U-turn? I don't think I do. I don't think I U-turn, I didn't U-turn here, because I went for Retaliate. Because, if I U-turn, I should have gone for Brave Bird. Whatever, doesn't matter. So, uh, I was worried that U-turn might not kill, so I decided to go be, make the safe play, go for Retaliate, slash Brave Bird, either way, it doesn't matter. Anyway, now he's gonna set up his rocks, um... As I switch out to Heatran to get the switch advantage, and I'm just gonna go straight for the flame or er, the fire blast, and you're gonna see something kind of unfortunate happens. Oh look, it's an ape! Oh look, I mispredicted. Should have gone for Earth Power. I'm an idiot, and then I miss. Ugh, pain. So that sucks. I'm actually kind of glad that I. Fire Blast was still the right move, because if he'd gone out to Landorus, Earth Power would have been really bad, and he would have gotten a sub up, and he would have... I would have been screwed. I would have been boned. So, it would have been game if he'd gone out to Landorus, and my Fire Blast missed, or whatever. So, he didn't want to take that chance. He went out to Ape, so I got out to Tentacruel. I know Tentacruel can take moves all day from Ape. Um, Fire Blast, pshaw. <laughs> Did I really just... Pshaw. Uh, um, I don't know. Just ignore me. So... Then I'm going to get hit with that Fire Blast after I think he went for close combat first turn. Yes, he did. And uh, and then I'm just going to go for the Surf, take him off, take him off, take him off. I'm going to uh, I'm going to get him off because I'm very sexual in that way. But uh, I'm going to Surf, take out the Infernape, and now he's down to two. So I know I have to get a free switch in for Star Raptor on Landorus, and I'm not sure how to do it. What I decided to do is I'm going to take out Tentacruel. And now, I, I think he's gonna go to Skarmory. I really do. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, go go right for the U-turn. Uh, if I, if he had stayed in on that U-turn and gone for Stone Edge, um, or Earthquake, predicting the U-turn, I would have been boned again. Um, if he had gone for Stone Edge and everything hits, then I pretty much lose. I think so. Because I can't kill Skarm if I lose Heatran. So I need both of these guys to kill both of the guys that I'm not in it against. But he knows now, after I made that nice kind of a double switch, I guess, you know, I U-turn, but it was... I mean, if I... if I Honestly, if I just Brave Birded there, I would lose. Probably. Possibly. Possibly. It depends on how we predict. But, um... 
Instead, now I get the Fire Blast off on the Skarmory because he wants to save his Landorus. He goes for the Earthquake. That takes me out, um, obviously. And we're down to our last. It's my my Brave Bird. Everything is Fizzy Stardust advises us. Uh, my Boring Zzzz. Uh, my Staraptor versus his Landorus. And I win. So, great battle. Go battle. Great battle. Great battle, everybody. Great battle, Golazo. Uh, I actually had a ton of fun with this one. I'm really starting to get into 5th Gen OU just because it's fun to take Pokemon that not everybody uses and win with them. I know my team here is actually um, relatively common pokes, <laughs> plus, but it's it's just fun for me, you know? I've been doing it a lot lately, and you'll see a lot of different stuff coming for me in the future. So thank you guys for watching, and uh, I am out.